so I heard somebody just bought a car. Who that be? I did. And guys, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to show you guys my new car. To be pulling up, you know? Pulling up. Just In the Rari, yeah. You wish. <laughs> I wish. But yeah, show them the key. Okay. Catch a key, all right? I like. welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing our car tour so i'm going to show you guys around my car so you guys can see all the features and stuff and also i do have a little bit of customization in this car i'm going to try to show you guys it kind of as i got it i'll insert a video of what the car looked like before I did a little bit of my mods and stuff like that but let's get to it so this is how my car looks like I'm not going to show you how this is made but this is the front of the car I'm going to do a little walk around to my rims and stuff as you guys can see my car is the excellent package so I'll definitely insert a video so you guys can see what that model is that one so guys, let me show you this cool feature that everybody gets so hyped about. Like, hold on. Let, let me show you. Every time they like, open the door, people always get so excited about the floor because, I don't know, they just think it's so fetch. Well, yeah, like that is another feature that this car has. That's what the S-Line model is. I have to my car. I just added, don't mind the fingerprints. Because, yeah, I just added these lighting in here. You guys, inside of my car. So let's open the door. So you guys can see. As you guys can see, it is black interior. Everything is black. And stuff like that I'll open the back door so you guys can see that this is the back seat as you guys can see I had my car for a mo um a long time now okay not a long time but a couple months now so it is definitely lived in you see we're now inside I'm in the driver's side so this is my speedometer so it's kind of digital but there's also some manual stuff that goes with it so right now that is my gas it's it tells you it in kilometers this is the um let me show you guys so this is the home screen then you can click this button over here on the steering wheel these buttons up here on the steering wheel they control the middle um top of the screen so as you guys can see i'm clicking this arrow it now shows me the music the media so if you were plugged into your Apple Music or your and no your Apple Play CarPlay or your Android Auto, it would show you the songs that are playing. Also, it's over here is your call log and stuff like that. But I just like to keep mine on the home screen because I like to look at the time. Also, over here is your speed and your gas. It tells you your gas digitally in the kilometers form. Also and over here by the bars too down here over here that is my drive assist this car comes with that these are my kilometers the time all that good stuff also the temperature but most nowadays cars tell you that so on this side, wheel, this side of the steering wheel is controls the middle console which would be like your music um you have if you have an iphone and you click this button here this would be your siri or your command you can press that and tell her to call somebody or what's the weather and all that stuff this is also my um telephone button i can click it answer and hang up and this also i could change my songs put my volume up or down as you guys could hear and this is my horn and stuff like that 
and it's kind of dusty it needs a stormy needs a good wash but it's been raining so much that i haven't really been able to take her out to get a good wash but now we're gonna move on to the side here over here is what controls your lights so i just keep my car on automatic because nobody has time to be this is called i don't know what that shiny material is called it's so dusty like you could wipe it and clean it like 20 times a day and it'll look like you've never done it a day in your life but yeah this this is to control your lights this is your uh fog lights when it's raining hard or snowing very hard you click that and it helps you see better on the roads and then on the side here this is my door handle this is the lock and unlock as you guys can see it changes to red when it's locked and then down here we have our controls for our i don't know who touched that but you have your controls here for your rear view so if i turn the knob this way it'll control my white my right side rear view mirror as you guys can see it goes up like that stuff like that if i put it into the middle that just keeps it in place also the rear view mirrors um, have are heated, so if I turn the knob all the way to this side, that's a defrost symbol, and it can defrost my my rear views for me. Then I have my window controls, and then this is child lock for the back seats and stuff like that. Sometimes I use that if I have small kids in my car, but I don't really, so I don't. Guys, we're gonna move on to the most important thing on the car, which is our entertainment section so as you guys know my car is a uh, audi q3 so they go off of the mmi system high key i don't like it but it's whatever like this is how the home screen looks so if i was to turn on my car this would be what it would be on but majority of the time i'm listening to um, my own music i don't really listen to the radio like that but as you guys can see, um, this is all the controls. So this is to like your drive assist. So this is where you can control the modes that you want to drive, like all your different features. I like to keep my car in comfort mode because it just drives smooth stuff. Then I have lighting, interior and exterior lighting. All uh, this. This car also comes with um, rain sensor window wipers girl let me tell you a story about that so my car comes with window rain sensor wipers so it automatically comes on when it senses anything wet on the windshields when i tell you the first day i took this car for a car wash it was a joke guys it was a joke i literally was in the car wash looking at the car go crazy because the window wipers kept going back and forth all the cars was just everything was just moving around and i was trying to figure out how to stop it because it's automatic and i didn't know anything it was like maybe the first week i had this car and i didn't really look through um the instructions and stuff like that but after that experience oh my god i had to sit down in this car and go through the manual look at what the all these things are and learn how to work them but now i know that my car does that so when i take it to the car wash i know better like there's no way i'm gonna be sitting there looking at the car go whoop, 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 whoop. like if i could show you i also, would it comes with the parking aid parking aid basically is just my rear view camera so i will show you guys that too if you guys after we finish this then it, then we have the settings for the drive assist all of that stuff you can also if you're like a fast driver like me you can set your car to warn you like to slow down so if i wanted um to set my thing as if i pass a hundred or no if i pass like 80 it would pop up on my screen to tell me like slow down it it does i had it on for a little bit and then it kind of was like distracting so i took it off so but i might put it back on so basically this is my ac and so this car comes with heating and cooling seats so right now it's on ac 
so i can set it to automatically turn on to what temperature like to adjust if it feels that the car is getting very cold then it would put my heat on if it's getting very hot then it would put my ac on and then you can just adjust like you turn the knobs to how cold and hot you want it to be and this is just how to turn it off so down here we have the go to defrosting things you know all that jazz and then this is my push to start button don't ask me why it's all the way down here that was another thing to learn and then over here is the volume so and then these are also how like shortcuts like this is what bring you back to the this type of page and then i have this which is like for skidding you can turn it on and off that makes your you drive properly and then this button is the it automatically saves gas so my car shuts off but at the stoplights so there's that sometimes it's annoying sometimes it's like a lifesaver because if you're running low on gas then you definitely need it and then this is just your hazard lights and then this is my park assist button so that's my rear view camera it's not really that fancy because it's just but i don't really use it that much it comes on oh guys another thing. another thing about this car this car has sensors all around it so when you're close to anything it'll automatically start beeping like so loud and then when you're really close to something it'll be like a high pitch beep and then sometimes it even like beeps if other people are close to you because the sensors senses that they're close to you it's 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 a lot it's a lot so there's also that and then i have just my let me show you guys i was not even recording so my car also has a panoramic sunroof as you guys can see so to control that it's over here so the top this first button here is just to close it if i wanted to close it and not look at the sky of the night this button here is to open the actual sunroof oh guys clearly i don't know how to work my own car but yeah as you guys can see it just goes to there okay so this is my rear view mirror it has a little digital uh, compass it will show you if you're heading in the north direction west direction east you know and then this is my dice my fuzzy dice i love that also this is my phone holder i also have uh what is it scent it's kind of like an oil this and then i have the back and body with you everything all around that's normal sunglass holder please go to the back seat so you guys can see my originally supposed to do a design my car like styling it video but i was just so excited for the stuff that i bought so i already put them in this car so we didn't get to get that video done but it's okay there will definitely be more things that i would be adding to my car if I see them and they're cute and affordable, you know, we'll do that. So I'm going to show you guys in the back seat now. I've never really been in my back seat because, like, I'm the one usually driving. Right, now in the back seat. It's nice back here. Oh, I would love to be shepherd driving in my back seat. Girl, for a small car, it is pretty roomy. My emergency basket, too. And we're in the back seat, guys. Where we can see the panoramic from back here. All of that is my trunk. It's not as big as I thought it was gonna be, but it's just this is my trunk. Nothing really much to tell you guys about. It also has um, it's a power lift gate, as you guys can see. So we have just to close the trunk and then to lock the whole entire car. Figured that out a couple of weeks ago. Yep, and this is just the privacy screen. You know, you can take it off if you want so to. This is the end of my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. So, 
you guys can also send me a DM if you guys have me on Instagram, which you, if you don't, what are you doing? My Instagram is justice with a Y. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok as well, just with a Y, justice underscore with a Y. Yeah, see? Even I'm getting my own name wrong. But yeah, I'll be definitely active there. There'll be more videos coming soon. I cannot wait to show you guys more now that I have a car. So see you guys next time. Bye.